Hello and welcome to Sound Librarian. I'm Stefan Schutz. Today we're going to have a look at Minecraft. And for all you developers out there, I'm sorry, but I'm going to explain why the sound in Minecraft is better than the sound in your game. And I actually really mean this. Minecraft has become a bit of a phenomenon. It was an independently produced game that's become really quite huge. But also, it was a game that was incredibly simple in many ways, including the sound. And yet, I think the sound in Minecraft is actually quite extraordinary. So, we're going to have a look at Minecraft, we're going to have a listen to Minecraft, and we're going to have a bit of a discussion about why the sound in Minecraft is actually quite significant. In fact, I think I've learned quite a few things about sound design for games by playing Minecraft. Let's go and have a look. The audio for Minecraft is as simple and sparse as its graphic style, and yet I would argue more effective than many more complex games. I've certainly learned some important lessons about audio from my experience playing Minecraft, both in what it does and in what it doesn't do. A recent update highlighted something that I've been very aware of since my early days in the industry, and I was glad to see the guys creating Minecraft picked up on this as well. Footsteps, while a very, very minor part of an audio environment, can have an impact on the overall experience far beyond the representation of feet impacting on various surfaces. The recent update altered the sounds of footsteps in various areas, making them softer and more subtle. I think this was a good decision. Generally, footsteps are the sort of thing you don't notice unless they are done badly, and that's exactly the point. They ground a character, and a game might feel wrong if they weren't there, but beyond that, they need to be super subtle. If the player notices them, then they are too loud. The recent update has improved the effect of footsteps dramatically. Okay, so why do I think Minecraft sounds are so good? That's easy. It's because they've become iconic. The simple matter that they are very limited in their implementation means that the sounds of a zombie or a spider, and especially a creeper, are all instantly recognisable to anyone that has ever played Minecraft. There are sadly very few iconic sounds in the real world. As humans, we are far more visual based and fewer still iconic sounds that come from video games. So the next time you are playing an amazing game with awesome sound, ask yourself, how many people would recognize any of these sounds compared to the number of people whose blood would run cold at hearing a second of Minecraft's environmental audio is also very sparse. There are no environmental effects that do not directly relate to an actual object or event. There is no illusion of birds in the trees from bodiless tweeting. There are no general sound effects that flesh out the world ambience. Water and lava make noise to indicate their presence, as do the various animal species. But all of these are voiced from a specific entity. So if you hear a cow, it is because there is a cow present and you can track its location via its sound. So Minecraft has a true environment. What you hear is what you get. This is very rare in video games, but here it is part of the experience. Minecraft also has very stylized sounds. Initially, I wondered if this was due to a lack of access to good recordings. Surely this muffled thud sound could be replaced by some awesome rock smashing sounds. Well, let's just do that for a second and see where it gets us. Here is an edited audio track using realistic sound effects. So while realism might provide a more convincing experience for a few seconds, it rapidly becomes annoying with the realization that real digging and breaking of rock is not a sound you want to be exposed to for very long. In fact, real miners and quarry workers go to extreme lengths to wear protective gear that isolates them from the noises involved. Minecraft is all about digging, chopping and smashing blocks of different types. If you spend any time in the game at all, you'll quickly realize that's a big part of what Minecraft is all about. So the various dull, muted thuds that accompany the digging actions are a considered purposeful choice that provide the player with feedback while preserving both their hearing and their sanity. In fact, the almost toy-like quality of these sounds is something I find strangely calming while I play. 
as implementation of a sound for a very repetitive action in a game, I'm not just impressed that it doesn't get annoying, I'm astonished that they can even be a positive experience. I have adjusted the contrast of the video here as I want to explore at night time with no extra light source. Actually, I don't really have much choice as I spawned a new world and I have no way of making a light source. But it serves a purpose here of increasing the chance of encountering monsters. This is where the audio in Minecraft can get quite frantic. Some of the monsters have an idle sound that accompanies their general wandering behaviour. There is also sounds that can indicate if you've been spotted, but the silence of the creepers is extremely effective. The only warning sound you get is often too late to respond to. Travelling at night can quickly become a mass of creature sounds as you are stalked and attacked. I find the overall blend of sounds in Minecraft quite effective. I like the sparseness in the world from an audio point of view. For me, it adds to the scale of the world and your small place in it. I think there's quite a few important lessons in regard to audio that can be learnt from this independently produced game. And I would encourage players to look beyond its surface simplicity to see just how complex the overall concept is and just how much potential it has. Okay, so there you have Minecraft. Best sound in the world? No, but I never said it was. But it's very, very interesting, and I really do think that there are some aspects of the sound in Minecraft that are very, very noteworthy. So I would highly recommend anybody who's interested in game development, or anybody who's interested in design especially, take a look at Minecraft. And for the sake of the sound, yeah, pay a little bit of attention to it the next time you're playing it. Thanks so much for watching.